All right, what's up, everyone? This is Spooky, and I'm back at you with another Zenless Zone Zero video. This one is talking to you about a Bang Boo that is amazing for the tower, and it's probably the most underrated Bang Boo. I greatly underestimated this guy. It's Avaka Boo, who's this guy that looks like a cute little avocado. But the reason why he's really amazing for you potentially in your tower runs is he has this one skill here called Sweet and Juicy. And the way the skill works is that it has a chance to give you HP. At 5 stars, it gives you back 15% of his HP, and he starts at around 4,600. So this is a significant amount. It actually gives you a good amount back. Now, there's another part of this that's very important, which is that if you have at least one support character in the squad, which Nicole is a person that you might use in towers sometimes, but any support, it doesn't matter which support you got. Rena is another one that some people might use. If you have at least one support in the squad, this skill gives about 35% more HP. Now, I've heard people say stuff like, this thing doesn't give back that much HP, and it shouldn't be that useful for tower. So I spent the time to level it up, and now I'm going to go into the hollow really quick, and I'm going to show you how much this thing actually heals for. All right, so for this first test, I'm just going to have Chingy together with the Arakabu and nobody else in there. That way, there's nothing else that can really interfere with this test. And we're going to use the squad, and we're going to let Chingy take a couple hits, and then we're going to see how much the Arakabu gives back without a support. So I make sure to take a hit or three, and now I'm going to wait for the Arakabu to throw his little avocado at me. Whoop, there he goes. And once he tosses it, I'm going to pick it up. And I'm gonna see. I'm gonna see what happens. All right, there it goes. So right now I have 10,289 HP, and I'm gonna pick up the power up. And now I have 10,938 HP. All right, everyone. So I went ahead and did the math, and 10,938 minus 10,289 is 649. So that means with my four-star Arakabu, I got 649 HP back. Now we're going to test the same type of thing, but this time we're going to test it with a support unit, Nicole, in the squad, just to see what is the difference in healing that we get. Now I've got Avakabu here, and he's about to throw me a power up. We're going to take a peek and see how much this gives. Right now I have 10,446, and when I grab the power up, I have 11,322. So let me go ahead and do the math on that. All right, everyone. So I went ahead and I took a look, and that was a total of 876 HP that I gained back just now using the av Avocado Boo or Avaka Boo. And uh, that means that, you know, I, I, honestly, that's not even maxed out. So keep in mind that I have not, I don't have it five stars yet, uh, which means that I'm not getting back, you know, like the max amount, that little 1% extra that it gives. But still, if I look at the amount it gives, keep in mind that you can get 15 procs, so that 15 times 876, and then you get an extra three procs if you go ahead and you have a support person on the squad, you get an extra three. It takes the course of around one minute uh, per three procs, something like that. So to get all of the procs, uh, to get all the procs would take a while, mind you. But in tower, you know, some of the fights are a little bit on the longer side. Not every fight is like a one minute fight, especially the bosses and that type of thing. So it's a good way for you to recover, especially the smaller damage you take in the tower. But even if you got someone that's pretty heavily beat up or something like that, then you know, trust in the Avaka boot because it might be a good way to heal yourself. Anyway, guys, there you go. That's basically it. I did the investing and the testing. But after having done so, even though I invested a good amount of resources into this Bang Boo, I'm happy that I did because I do see his potential for tower and for any long form content. He could also potentially be good if you're struggling to beat certain other content. But the thing is, by the time he can do a significant heal like this, where he's healing for 800 some or almost 900 damage, by the time you get him to that point, he's going to already be level 60. You know what I mean? And you might want to just level up your damage bang boost at that point first because some of the damage bang boosts at level 60 also do have a good amount of attack and do a good amount of damage. But for the tower, this guy's phenomenal. He's especially good if you don't have a Caesar. Let's say you're forced to like a Ben or you're playing like set some type of some type of other defense unit to help you in the tower. Then this guy is going to help you gain back that damage that you take on those smaller hits and make it so that you can climb even higher in the tower with less restarts. So definitely try this guy out, Avaka Boo. I think he's really clutch in the tower. I think you guys will like him. And thanks, as always, for enjoying all the Zenless Zone videos like you guys always do. Have a beautiful day, everyone, and I'll see you all later.